ZBrush can create a lot of detail and that detail requires a lot of polygons which take up computer resources. One way to reduce that weight, especially when exporting files to other program for, or for 3D printing is to decimate the models. Let's see how. So you can see we have this horse model which have quite a 1 million total points over here and if I will go to sub tool you can see it's a single model basically. Okay. So that's what uh, you have it on your screen, which is I think 1 million is quite a lot. And let's go to Z plugin here. And let's see where we have that decimate option. So here we have the decimation, but uh, we have to go back and forth to this. So let me uh, dock this to the right side so we don't have to go back and forth. So it will be always there. Now, here you will notice that it's already docked here and you will see that there are some options over here and a couple of options when we, and we will see in a bit what they will do. Now under the decimation master you will see these settings. Now this model has a poly paint so if I want to decimate this so I have to make sure that my uh, poly paint is being clicked and this model also have a UVs. So this uh, should be also clicked UVs. So by default they are off, but even if you don't have poly paint or if you, even if you don't have a UV, so there is no harm in turning these two on. So by default they are off, so you have to manually turn this on. I always turn this on even I don't have if I even if I don't have any kind of poly paint or UVs over here. Now the value over here poly paint weight is 25, which I think is fine and I never change this and I keep it as it is. So ZBrush, uh, what it will do right now, will uh, pre-process the decimation first. So uh, what is the uh, pre-process? Uh, now pre-process is something that ZBrush is going to think about the distribution of the polygons uh, through that process. It's going to think about where the details is versus or where it's and it's going to uh, prioritize some to keep and some polygons are where like some of them are expandable and it's going to identify how expandable various polygons are so that when we decimate it it's going to take out ones that aren't holding detail for us and it's going to leave in ones that are so this is how it will do now oh i will just press over here pre-process current and you will notice that it is now pre-processing. It will take a, a while to do that. And once it is done, we will go back and we will start the next process, which is basically the decimation. So you can see that it is now calculating and it's keep on going. And now whatever I have explained you, it will be doing that. So now the decimation master has, uh, and uh, it's doing the process of the decimation at this point. So uh, what it is doing that is doing the heavy calculation work in the background. So once this heavy calculation is done, we will go back in the decimate current and we will start decimating it. But before that, we will do some kind of uh, changes here. So let it uh, get finished. I think we are almost done over here. And the, it's reordering now. And once the reordering does, we will have our uh, pre-processed the heavy calculation uh, finished. Now it is a writing file to the disk and I hope that's it. And now you can see operation is completed. It took one minute and six seconds to do that. And as you know, this was around one million, uh, you can see polygon. If I will close this one, you can see that uh, they are around, you can say two million. Okay. Now here we have a decimation percentage. Now decimation percentage is the amount which will define how a lower value you want. So here you can set the percentage of the decimation. I usually like to bring this down to around 5 and 10. So let's see what happens if I will change this to 5 and press enter. And after that, just uh, to show you once more, uh, one more time, 
active points are 1.926 million so just keep this in mind now what i will do here is that i will start decimating this so as i have only one model over here so i will just press decimate current if you have uh, multiple sub tools so maybe you know you can go to decimate all but i'm just doing get like decimate current so current means the sub tool that is selected all means all of this so it goes with same with the pre process so i will just press on the decimate current this will not take time because pre processing was done before so it has already done but we don't see any changes here but if i will close this down the divider now let's see how many uh, current points we have now before it was 2 million something now it is 96000 something now what has been done so let me do one thing over here let me zoom in okay and just move it here and shift f to turn on my wireframe and now you can see over here the decimation is always going to turn into a chaotic triangulated mesh but you will notice now it's about quarter of million points as opposed to uh, 2 million that were like we we had before so much lower polygon count but if we turn off the wireframe here you can hardly see any detailed change so it's very powerful tool now if you're uh, not happy with the result you could go back to the changes here and what you can do is that maybe if you don't want this to be 5% you can go even lower let's see what happens if I go to 0.5 which is quite very low and then if I press on uh, pre-process uh, sorry uh, like decimate current and when I do that just notice what happened now you can see it is quite a very low if I will turn this on the wireframe you can see it's very very low so let me do one thing here undo this okay and undo again so it will go back to its uh, total 2 millions sort of polygons okay so now I'm, we are back to the 2 millions now let me apply that again because before when I applied it was already on 96,000 so now I will do on 2 million and let's see what how it looks like on the 2 million. So decimate current. But still it looks the same. So I will undo this one. And what if I want a little bit more, not 5 or, or 0.5. Let's, let's increase it uh, more. Let's make it 10% and then decimate current. Okay, so this is done. Let me close this. And now we have quite 192% uh you know thousand of the uh like uh yeah here, here the polygons if i will turn this on you, you can see it's much more here than it uh we had it for uh, in the first place now this took my model that was good for animation and turned it into a model that really cannot be good for animation so i can uh you know how it looked like back was this quite a good number of polygons quite good for the animation purposes but when i applied the decimation it lowered it down it completely uh you know uh really uh, really reduced the number of uh, like points over here but now i cannot animate this one so before you can see it was animatable but just see it was 1.926 million but compared to that it's it's too it's very very low right now and the quality stays uh, you know as it is however uh, this is a really useful for 3d printing and if you want to generate something like uh, a, like a displacement map or a normal map in any other program you can export this out along with the low resolution but uh, good uh, it's not that good for the you know uh, like animation or those things but if you want to export a normal map or height map for animation that you can do but the model itself the mesh itself is not good for the animation so uh, for these purposes uh, i always recommend to use this especially for the 3d printing because it completely lowers down your number of uh, 
like points over here and maybe if you're just creating an artwork for presentation not for uh, you know animation just as a render so maybe for that also you can use this so guys if you have enjoyed my video please click on the like button and i will be uploading new lessons tutorials live sessions and full courses uh, in future along with other useful videos so don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications i will highly appreciate if you will give a shout out to my channel on your social media account which will help me to get more subscriber and this will really really motivate me to create more content for you all so guys thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson